Hey everyone, today we're going to show you how to make checkbox lists in Google Sheets so when you check it off, it crosses it out and changes the color. So check it out. Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Every Day and if you are new to this channel, it is all about reviews and how-tos, so make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Today we're going to be showing you how to make checkbox lists in Google Sheets. So when you check it off, it's not only going to check it off, but it's also going to put a line through your, your to-do list as well as change the color. It's really easy to do. So we're going to guide you through that process today. So let's jump on over to my computer and get right into it. All right, so I've got Google Sheets loaded up on my PC here and you can see I created a to-do list as well as a priority to-do list. I did separate those because there is a feature I want to show you here in just a moment. Over on the left hand side here, you can see there is a completed column. This is where we're going to be putting all those check boxes in. And once we've inserted those, then we'll move on to the second step, which is actually when you check that check box, it crosses out the to-do list and changes the color for you. So um, we're going to start out by inserting those check boxes right now. And that's really easy to do. So just select the cell that you do want to add that to. So we'll start out with this first one here, which is A3. And once you've got that highlighted with the blue box, under insert here, you're gonna see an option in insert that says checkbox. And we can just go ahead and select that. And it's gonna insert that checkbox right in there. You can see if I click on it, it puts a check in there, but it doesn't cross plant garden out yet. So we're gonna show you how to do that in just a moment. But we do need to create checkboxes for the rest of these. So there's, you could just copy and paste that, just like this, control C and control V and put it in there. The other option would be to drag down this blue little box. There's a, in the corner here, there's a blue little square. You could drag that down and it'll create more check boxes there. For these bottom ones, the other way to do it is just to highlight all the cells where you want the check box. You can see I've got all three of them highlighted. And again, insert check box and it'll add that to all three of those cells. So I've got those check boxes in here. I can turn them on and off. So I'll leave a couple of them on so you can actually see what happens as we are doing the formatting for the rest of this video. All right, so let's move on to the second part, which is formatting our to-do list. So when we check it off, it crosses it out and changes the color. So what we wanna do here at the top is there's a button that says format right there. And if you select that, a menu is gonna pop up. We wanna scroll down to the very bottom here. And the third one from the bottom says conditional formatting. If you go ahead and select conditional formatting, um, you can see that the plant garden box that I had selected actually turned green, but we wanna apply this to a range. So the top option here says apply to range and there's a select data range button right here. And the reason B3 went green is because it's actually the one I had selected there, but we wanna actually select a whole series of cells. So we're gonna select this data range here and I'm just gonna move that over. We're gonna highlight in here and if you wanted to select the whole column, you could just go ahead and select B here at the top and it would highlight the whole column. What we're actually gonna do is highlight just a few cells here, the ones that we want to um, apply this to. So we could go ahead and do that and just hit, and you can see it says B3 to B7 right there. And the reason I actually separated my list into two is because I wanted to show you this option, add another range. So if you have multiple lists that you're doing this in and you don't want them all as one, you could hit add another range right here. And that'll allow you to actually add these ones as well. And you can see it added a second set of data here on the right hand side. Then we can go ahead and hit okay. And you can see all of those cells did turn green because that's the default color here on the right hand side. So once we've done that, we need to actually create some rules. Now, what we're looking for, it says format rules here. And if you click on this box, and scroll to the bottom, there's gonna be an option here that says custom formula is, and we're gonna select that. And in this box here, it says value or formula. That's where we wanna put in our formula today. But we need to figure out what the formula is. And what we're looking for is, um, if I go over here on the left-hand side, next to plant garden, the one I have checked off, if I click on that, so it's not checked, you can see right up there, it says false. And if you click it, so it's A3, cell A3. If you click it and check it off, it says true. So what we're looking for is that cell to be checked off and true. And that cell there is A3. So you can see A is the column here, three is the row. 
and we're just gonna have use that for this portion. So A3 is checked off, and in the value or formula here, you wanna go ahead and push an equal sign. So start your equation with equals, and A3 is that cell, and then equals, and then we wanna type in true. And when I do that, um, you're able to start making changes to there. So you're gonna see this formatting style. So I've got equals A3 equals true, but I can go ahead and click bold here, and all of a sudden, anything that is checked off is bold. So I know we were talking about actually putting a line through it, but you could do other things as well. So if I click the italics, it would make it have italics, I could underline it. But the one we're looking for here is this fourth one in, it's actually a strike through. And watch what happens on the left for plant garden and walk the dog. As soon as I click that, it's gonna actually put a line right through the writing there and cross it off. Now, I told you we would change the color of the text as well or put a background in. So right here, if you wanna change the color of the text, maybe we wanna change it to um, red when it's done. And let's say we wanna change the background color. So that would be how you change the text color. But there's also this one, the fill color here as well. And if you select that, you can select a fill color. Maybe I want it to be on a really light yellow. And you can see it crosses it out and puts a color in the background when it's done. So when I go ahead and hit these completed buttons, it automatically adds that to those cells. And it's that easy to do actually. And once you're done there, just go ahead and set hit done here in the bottom right hand corner and it, you're, you're complete. You can just have your to-do list crossed off when you are complete. So, and it's that simple to add check boxes to your lists in Google Sheets where it crosses them out and changes the color. So I hope this video did give you value. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe to Northern Viking every day because I've got tons of videos coming up that I'd love to share with you. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, take care.